Have you ever wondered how some amazing players manage to just fly across the fingerboard, pick every note and make it look effortless? Well, great alternate picking is absolutely at the heart of it. In this video, I'm going to give you five exercises that will really supercharge your alternate picking as well. Don't forget, practice them with a metronome, start slow, build up your speed and make sure you're accurate all the way. Here we go. Exercise number one. This first exercise is about coordinating your left and right hands. Usually descending patterns are more difficult to coordinate than ascending patterns. So it's a three notes descending pattern. It's, we're going to do it on the first string and it starts on the eighth fret, then the seventh, then the fifth. Eight, seven, five. That's it. Eight, seven, five, eight, seven, five, eight, seven, five. Eight, seven, five. Three notes, triplet, da, 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 da. however, notice that your right hand starts the first pattern down, down, up, down, then the second time you do it, it starts with an up. Be very aware of that, practice it triplets, then when you can do it as triplets confidently, do it as sixes, but accent the first note of each group like this. Okay, practice that with your metronome, move on to the next one. Exercise number two, we're still sticking on one string. This time it's a four note exercise and it starts on the eighth fret, then the fifth, then the seventh, then the fifth. Eight, five, seven, five. Again, accenting the first note of each group and don't forget, practice it up and down the fingerboard and across your scale patterns as well. Exercise number three. Okay, so we're gonna go back to triplets and to sextuplets, and this time we're gonna play the first exercise, eight, seven, five, but then we're gonna play it on the next string over on the second string as well. So you get eight, seven, five on the first string, then eight, seven, five on the second string. And if you notice, again, you start with a down, up, down, and then up, down, up when you change strings. The trick is getting from that down to the up on the next string. Make sure you escape from that string so you can get to the next one cleanly. The most tricky thing about alternate picking, as well as coordinating your hands, is changing strings. If you follow the links to the video above, there's another video there that explains all of the mechanics about that in detail. Exercise number four. Now this one is an ascending exercise and it's the opposite of the last one. Now it might seem like a little bit of a cop out that I'm gonna get you to do an exercise that's the same as the other one, but the other way around, but it gets your fingers and your right hand moving in a different way when you're changing strings. So that's what that one's all about and why it's good and why it's useful. It goes like this, five, seven, eight on the second string and then five, seven, eight on the first string. Work on it, work on both of those exercises because they do balance each other and spend the same amount of time on each of them. Exercise number five, four notes per string. It's an eight note pattern, so it goes over two beats. Close up, it goes eight, five, seven, eight, five, eight, seven, five. So practice those exercises and follow the link below because you can get your hands on a copy of my sequences book and in the sequences book there's lots of things that work really really well to help improve your alternate picking and if you enjoyed the video and got something from it don't forget to like and subscribe really really appreciate it when people subscribe you get lots more content every week and we'll see you in the next one cheers